Welcome to my humble abode. I am Yoko the Tailspinner, and this. Tales of a Coffee. The channel where we start the day with a narrative tale and a cup of coffee in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now, or we start now, with Life is Strange. The original game that followed on from Life is Strange. Oh, that. Followed on sequentially, or uh, chronologically, from Life is Strange Before the Storm. A game we just finished on channel. I'll try and put a link at the top if I remember. Right, oh, I'm not looking to do it. Restart from this chapter, yes. I have played this before many years ago, when it first came out, I believe it was. When the full game first came out. But I'm returning now. Uh, how much we don't remember, that's questionable. Life is Strange is a story based game. Okay, yes. I know they're telling us choices matter, and I remember they do to an extent, but it's mostly designing your own game. This narrative that will go on forward. There was many movies, but I want to re experience it after several years. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. Those I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless face. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and I children. I do love my analog camera. She saw humanity as torture, I should right? take a quick picture now. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. And Max has a gift. Achoo! Someone's always got to win it, only. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self 
portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. <laughs> Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Yeah, no. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done my by My little Robert camera bag is battered, but still kicking. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? AJ debate. I guess we should step back, shouldn't we? July 10th, 2013. You're gonna set it into Blackwell Academy. Words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never got... Uh, never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I used to live in the same town, but... When I saw the text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speeding up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. Sorry in my life. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the word congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes. And if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, I'm going to have to keep... I'm going to keep telling myself in cap that I'm going to Blackwell Academy! Well, this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved in with us to Seattle. I moved in to Seattle. That city was made for her. And we would play pirates in our room and the woods. It seemed like Seattle was the fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking. With coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. I studied photography under Mark Jefferson to sigh. It's heard hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. Never really found a groove with my classmates, or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to skip, er, uh, to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure, an adventure I've been looking for. It is crazy here. I didn't realise how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mum and Dad are getting a little too excited and cleaning out my room. But oh, I caught Mum crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. I've, and I've never been, uh, I've never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Mac wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Mac wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe still bumping up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different to Blackwell. September 2nd. My first entry from my new dorm room, the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. That shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine. I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names. But I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not a bitch. It 
Uh, and who's not, sorry. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day I start started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dog, I, fig I couldn't figure out what to wear. So I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I not forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm uh, at Blackwell to strike fashion posals. Maybe I'm extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life to be here, uh, life here to be her own reality show. Yes. Yeah, I think we've all known someone like that. But that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Gone the ambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and bricks, brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today, Mr. Jefferson's photography class die. There's just more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate, uh, but no, to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all. But it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the clique action I ate here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some homework. From some of my homework, Miss Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh, well, gee, I want to marry him. Just joking, this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th, homework is kicking my ass, so I bet the teacher's grade here harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they've on a desk at back 12. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone. With way more money and attitude if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay and I heard stories about them as a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class he put his feet on the desk, started texting and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties. And so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. And she's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the beaches at, uh, here like Victoria, who thinks... Sorry, Beaches, I should have said. Who think beauty is just your face and now let's see i'm already playing their drama games no more finally I had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today a perfect blue sky day i always forget how great i feel after taking pictures when i've been slacking off speaking of pictures mr jefferson told us about the national everyday heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter this winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Bye. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with science, uh, with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Ms. Grant is much cooler than the class. 
she explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? <laughs> Ah, uh, we've all done that, Max. October, my favourite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change colour, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot, thanks global warning. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Eight, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my peak <laughs> geek read before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. Ah, uh, yes. Hunger Games. Battle Royale, say, in 1984. But he nailed the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that a robotics club, stroke fest, swimming party? Or is that back, uh, backstroke fest? Oh god, Stole. you're too young for dad jokes. You were so funny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I couldn't expect my life to become completely changed after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy. My parents love telling me on loop, you're gonna have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class... Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be... This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hell yeah. That's a valid point. A lot of us have dreams and a lot of us, well, we don't make them come true, even when we could. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. We'll look at the rest of the class. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Wait till I'm there. And for that. Forever. Who is it? Doesn't say, all right. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Here, Kate, we'll have a bottle. It's not good. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. 
Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. What Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Neon Bell. <laughs> okay. We've done that, we come to weigh that. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. <laughs> even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. <laughs> yeah, I see the camera nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. <laughs> well, I mean, let's face it, anyone who can afford it is likely to have better equipment than school, usually speaking. Unless the school has some incredibly uh, wealthy donors. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. But most schools, money has to go a long way. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. I feel like you have to pass. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Mm -hmm. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant fan. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. American girls, it's sad to imagine. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching I hate having everybody see inside my car. I love that picture of mom and dad. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. To all of you, Stella is American always deep in her notes. In she didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. No That's Dana talking to. Me. I think his name is Justin. American Girls like dollies, Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. <laughs> they must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. We're all jealous of all more intelligent, well not all of us. All men are more popular than we are. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Good bully. Good boy. It looks like she's been gone for months. Walking around my own place. Rachel Lamberley, 19. She's 19 years old, high five five. Talking about the wrong place. This somewhere around the mountain. Uh, no one I wish October would last forever. Yeah, that would come. Yeah. Love.
They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. And we should all do things that we don't. Over the past decade, climate change and also the Oregon coal plant, including fish and water, is helped us make the space between the states, especially in our KDA. Any more skin push. Don't need a PC, miss the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Good thing I left my AK at home. Don't be zone. It's a spackle prohibitor. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Taking out all the different people. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Well, Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. American I hate these posters. It's so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. American girls I'd like How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? Yeah. I guess we all should these days. He's cute. I like Skater Boy. Too bad they don't like me. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. <laughs> Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Got to feel that one. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. That's a okay, bro, you, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Oh, I hate Victoria Chase. What is it? I hate you, Chloe. I'm gonna. Say. I'm good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah, getting the flu shot before the flu gets you. Not as useful for. It. I mean, it's kind of somewhat useful, but. Yeah, put an older folk. Folk with compromised immune systems, things like that. It's more useful. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't Water look back. like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. What are you doing in the girl's bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! 
I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're oh. messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No! And that is Chloe, if anyone didn't see the first one. The friend that Max had talked about. Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. And that's where we'll pick it up next time. For now, enjoy your coffee. I hope you have a blessed day. Stay safe and stay strong. If you want to help our channel grow, hit the like, comment, and subscribe.